Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Jay Nell here with a quick recap of UFC 118. So yeah, it was it was an exciting event. I'm gonna go ahead and recap the fights that I made predictions on. Um, Damian Maya versus Miranda Maya won. I only got two of my predictions. Maya won, <laughs> and he pretty much dominated the guy with his jujitsu. Took him down every round. He didn't finish him. Um, but it really dominated him on the ground, like full guard or full mount the whole time. He tried to submit him, uh, would go for all kinds of submissions. He just really, really worked him on the ground. Um, the Nate Diaz fight, Marcus Davis, that was actually a pretty exciting fight. They both came out swinging, boxing. They boxed for majority of the fight. Um, the six inch reach advantage that Nate had definitely bothered Marcus Davis. I said Nate would win. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> and the reach advantage did bother him. But Marcus got up under them, though. He got up under some shots. He got his shots in. They were both bloodied. They were really going at it. It was back and forth. So, I mean, Marcus took them shots and, and got his in. He really, really did all he could do with that reach, you know. Six inch reach is a lot. Um, and then finally, in the third round, Nate Diaz took him down and he submitted him. Guillotine. Then, uh, let's see. Kenny Florian and Gray Maynard and oh, I wanted Kenny Florian to win but he didn't. Gray Maynard won and he won just like he wins all of his fights by decision. He can't finish people. Um, and this puts him in line though to fight to fight uh, Frankie Edgar actually. We're going to get back to that. We're going to get to that later. Uh, <laughs> so uh, he basically took Kenny Florian down the whole fight, the whole Took him down, dominant position. Ground and pound him a little bit, but he didn't hurt him. Gray Maynard doesn't really hurt people. That's that's what I was saying. The thing I don't really care for is that he doesn't finish fights, but he's still undefeated. He still won, and he's in line to fight the lightweight champion. So good for him. Um, the next fight, James Tony and uh, Randy Gator. So here I go. I tried to call an upset. I wanted to play devil's advocate, and I called it for James Tony. I was I expected him to have some kind of training and. Shame on you, James Tony. Shame on you for just looking so completely unprepared. Randy took him down in like one second flat. James Tony didn't even get off one shot. I thought he would at least get off a shot. Nothing. It was like he didn't even see Randy coming, and Randy <laughs> did him like a bitch. He gave him no respect. As soon as the bell rung, he double leg take down him took him down, uh, grounded pounded him, that didn't work, because James Tony could take a punch, so then he went went for the submission, uh, went for the arm choke, at first he didn't quite have it, he was up against the fence, so he couldn't, you know, quite get the leverage he wanted, got him away from the fence, and then went and, uh, uh, via arm choke, <laughs> choked him out, but it was so easy, it was so easy, like I said, shame on you, James Tony, for talking all that smack, and I swear I could have did better than that. There was no takedown defense, no no ground game, no guard, no nothing. It looked like he didn't train on the ground at all. I was like, really? You've been trying to get into the MMA for like two, three years, and that's what you did have? Kimball Slice's ground game was eight times, ten times better than that. He deserved to get whooped, ran him doing like a bitch. He embarrassed you. <laughs> Shame on me for going against my better judgment. All right. In the final round, I picked BJ Penn, and he just disappointed me. Like I said, BJ Penn's got all of the talent, all of the natural gifts that you could want as a fighter, but sometimes his mental and his conditioning, and he's just a little lax. He got tired in the third round, or the fifth round. He was clearly tired, so the conditioning was calling the question. Frankie Edgar just had so much energy, because I'm not going to take away, anything away from him. He took him down the whole uh, match, dominant position. He didn't finish him, didn't even get him bloody. It could have been a better main event, um, but he took him down. Like I said, he totally won. He won the fight, and he just had so much energy. The one time that uh, VJ Penn did take him down, took him a couple of times. He was chasing him around the ring, and every time he would get some leverage and get him up in the air, Frankie's little legs would be like he just had so much energy. Like BJ just couldn't contain him, couldn't get him down, he couldn't hit him. He just chasing him around the whole fight. He just which is probably why he was tired in the fifth round. <laughs> <laughs> he was clearly tired in the fifth round, but you you fought this man before, so Frank Yeager, like I said, take nothing away from him. He beat him twice, twice in a row. You are the champ, and now he'll be fighting Gray, Gray Maynard, and we'll see how this goes because 
Uh, Gray Maynard is in real good physical shape, but I don't definitely don't think he'll be getting tired. And um, he's an athlete, but like I said, the energy, he's just like a ball of energy, that Edgar. So we'll see how it goes. They're both wrestlers. We'll see how it goes. Um, all in all, good event. Yeah. And that's about it. Shame on you, James Tony, man. Talking all that smack, and you're going to come in and get done like a straight bitch. Randy gave him no respect, and he shouldn't have because he you know, called Randy all kinds of scrubs and stuff. Shame on you. <laughs> For shame. Ladies, make your own money. Sign your own checks. Goodbye for now, y'all.